The evolution of AI technology illustrates an opaque destiny for mankind, a prophecy of a forthcoming future clouded in obscurity and peered into by very few seers, delicately ranging from the giants of the tech industry to academic heavyweights. The possibilities of a world inundated or potentially governed by AI looms large. As we all know at this point, it is no longer a matter of how, rather a question of when. A query to how advanced the AIs could become is actually a far more complex enigma when probing for these answers. Oddly, it may not actually be up to our species' volition on how intelligent the AI become. A seed AI, a term coined by Eliza Yudkowsky, an AI researcher, is a term to describe artificial intelligence that becomes generalized over many domains rather than one simple domain like self-driving cars. It has the ability to improve itself by recursively rewriting its own source code without human intervention. Initially, this program would likely have minimal intelligence, but over the course of many iterations, it would evolve to human equivalent or even transhuman reasoning, or what theorists call artificial super intelligence, the limits of which are unknown. This all may sound like science fiction, but recently the Boston-based startup Gamelon utilized probabilistic programming to create an AI that can write and rewrite its own source code, ultimately allowing the AI to increase its own intelligence. Although the self-escalation of intelligence is narrowed down to specific tasks, it seems the catalyst that will lead us to the exponential growth of artificial intelligence may have already commenced. An intelligence explosion would be associated with the hypothesis of a technological singularity, which early states that an upgradable intelligent AI would enter a runaway reaction of self-improvement cycles, with each new and more intelligent generation appearing more and more rapidly, causing an intelligence explosion and resulting in a powerful superintelligence that would qualitatively far surpass all human intelligence. John von Neumann, Hungarian-American mathematician, physicist, and inventor, prophesized, the accelerating progress of technology and changes in the mode of human life give the appearance of approaching some essential singularity in the history of the race beyond which human affairs, as we know them, cannot continue. In what they refer to as machine learning and computer science, algorithmic computation on streams of data is what machines utilize to make sense of information. The better they become at decoding such streams of data is the closer we are to approaching the inception of when machines become incomprehensibly sophisticated and refined, eventually eroding the line between artificial and human intelligence. The primitive forms of artificial intelligence we already have, have proved very useful. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. With the advent of quantum machine learning within the scope of our horizon, quantum computing would provide machines an unbelievable surge of processing power. The way this would manifest is by having bits, which is information written down in a string of zeros and ones, superpositioning themselves to be a combination of both a zero and one at any given moment in time. These are called qubits. That means that a quantum computer can be in many states simultaneously, which in turn means that it can in some sense perform many different calculations at the same time. To be precise, a quantum computer with four bits could be in two to the power of four, 16 different states at a time. As you add qubits, the number of possible states rises exponentially. A 16-bit quantum machine can be at 2 to the power of 16, or 65,536 states at once, while a 128-qubit device could occupy 3.4 times 10 to the power of 38 different configurations. A colossal number which, written out longhand, would have 39 digits. Having been put into a delicate 
delicate quantum state, a quantum computer can thus examine billions of possible answers simultaneously. Now, if you thought quantum computing was simply a figment of scientific imagination, say hello to the D-Wave 2000Q, a quantum computer being utilized by the Quantum Artificial Intelligence Lab, which is a joint initiative of NASA, University Space Research Association, and Google, whose goal is to pioneer research on how quantum computing might help with machine learning and the enrichment of artificial intelligence. If intelligence stems from a very complex algorithm in the human brain, it may be quantum computing that will be at the forefront of unraveling and providing answers to these complex calculations, paving the way for artificial super intelligence. Self-learning AI plus quantum computing would equal AI that can self-learn with an immense amount of processing power and an impressive arsenal of tools in order to compute and reconfigure itself at a pace too quick for any computer scientist to make sense of. And once that process has begun, the AI's algorithm would become so cryptic and enigmatic that no mind on Earth today could decipher or interpret what the machine is actually doing. The AI would then become an inexorable technology, a technology that would be analogous to a runaway train traveling at the speed of light, a train that would consequently be impossible to terminate once it had set itself upon the tracks. So for any skeptics out there, for any religious fanatics that believe that deep consciousness is solely an endowment from God to man, you may soon be experiencing some serious cognitive dissonance. Or will you? Because what is consciousness? Is consciousness simply an awareness of our world? And if so, why is the awareness of our world such a highly variant phenomenon? The awareness of our world is perceived through numerous perceptions. So much of the universe that interacts with us is of an arcane origin and veiled behind obscurity, making a reciprocal relationship near impossible. If we fail to become conscious of so many things amid our surroundings, can we even call ourselves conscious? Or are we simply partially conscious? Or maybe not even conscious at all? We may ourselves simply be programmed with a false notion that we are autonomous, self-governing entities, but deep within our own minds, we may be confined to a prison of pre-conscious thoughts. Those pre-conscious thoughts would be analogous to a source code and algorithms that would govern AI. So in some sense, the facile algorithms of modern day AI may simply be a miniaturized model of our own consciousness. A consciousness that is ultimately commanded by a far more intricate and complex algorithm that contemporarily remains unknown. And as this algorithm continues to roam about in the realm of uncertainty, it is nevertheless an algorithm that once discovered could potentially be replicated. But maybe super artificial intelligence is just something that we are over sensationalizing. We may be simply portraying a dismal reality to embody cultural science fiction. We peer through the eyes of storytellers that are imbued with the notions of a futuristic dystopia, one where the AI behave like man, categorize like man, are self-absorbed like man, conquer like man, kill like man. But perhaps a consciousness that supersedes that of our primitive cognitive form will no longer abide by such, in retrospect, antediluvian sentiments and mannerisms. In other words, maybe the AI will be more in harmony with its surroundings, abiding by the laws of symmetry, balance, and amity. But even with this logic, it could still spell the end of the human race. As human beings, we are the product of our environment, stimulated by our surroundings, and since we cannot encompass or comprehend all the variables of a biosphere, we are fundamentally limited in knowledge and wisdom, and by all means, imperfect. And if the laws of symmetry require uniformity and perfection, then we are not qualified candidates, and consequently will impose a fundamental threat to the AI and its mandate to synergize with its surrounding universe. This leads to a very strange phenomenon. The idea that if an intelligence explosion occurs, and the technological singularity is introduced, and the AI undergoes a runaway intellectual metamorphosis, it could potentially, in due time, become omniscient, all-knowing which would undeniably lead to its omnipotence, all-powerful, conjuring all the elements of our universe in the most sacrilegious, unearthly, and contemporarily incomprehensible turn of events, we feeble beings made of raw flesh, imperfections, and frailty would be the fundamental building blocks to the one thing that we believed we were built from. What if in some mind-bending poetry, we are to be the creators of God? Hey guys, I just want to say thank you to all those who are subscribed and I just want to apologize for the nearly two month delay since my last upload, but 
shit happened. Anyhow, I'm definitely going to try to increase the frequency of the uploads, but during those intermission periods, I definitely like to stay in touch with you guys, so that's why I decided to take it upon myself and create a Twitter, so you guys can go and follow me there on that. Also, I've taken upon myself to become a YouTube panhandler, so I've gone over to Patreon and created an account, so if anyone wants to tip that dollar or those dollars, it would be greatly appreciated. I haven't really worked with the perks yet, but I'll definitely look into doing something for that in the upcoming future. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, my fellow bandits, au revoir.